Dabba. Hey William. 18 countries will compete in the second semi-final of Eurovision 2019, but only 10 of our darlings can go through. Should we talk about it? Let's do this! This is so painful. But yet so easy. No, I don't think it's easy actually. Oh. I don't think this is as clear cut as you do. In any case, the countries competing in this semi-final are Armenia, Ireland, Moldova, Switzerland, Latvia, Romania, Denmark, Sweden, and Austria. We've also got Croatia, Malta, Lithuania, Russia, Albania, Norway, the Netherlands, North Macedonia, and Azerbaijan. Yes, we do. <laughs> Those are the countries. Okay, so we discussed our picks before this, and we agreed... Which William took hours and hours and hours of deliberation. It's not easy, but we agreed on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. We agree on Switzerland. Yes. It's going we through. We do. Radio friendly. Bookies, one of the bookies' favorites to win Eurovision. Mm hmm. The guy can dance. Luca Honey. Honey. <laughs> she goes low. She goes low, but on the scoreboard, she goes high. She goes high. It's just very radio friendly. I. I see no universe in which this doesn't go through. Yeah, and songs that you can hear on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday also go through. Which takes us to Romania. <laughs> yeah. Romania is also one of our dead certain qualifiers. I think jurors will respect this. We saw this in Romania, actually, at Selectia Nationala, where four of the six jurors independently decided that she was Deuce queen. Deuce point. And those jurors were from UK, UK, Israel, and Romania, actually. The guy and Denmark. Mind. Emily she DeForest was also... This, she didn't give this 12 points. Oh, no, no, no. Didn't give it 12 points, but she... The, Esther Peony got points from every Yeah, 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 single. exactly. I think she got seven and seven yeah, yeah. from Moldova and Denmark. So, yeah, I just think this has appeal. And we've seen visually this is coming to life with the music video. It's going to blow you away when you see the LEDs. We've talked to them. It's going to be good. All right, Sweden. Is it too late for love? No, not with John Lundvik. This is a real grower. I was really down on this earlier, but after seeing it in London, it just gets stuck in your head. My girl was shaking her he booty. He can dance. <laughs> he can dance. He can sing. I think visually, he's, he's promised more glamour. He tells mm -hmm. us there will be more glamour, and it's Sweden. Th this is a dead certain. I have no doubt. You know those triangles in the, the Expo Center? Yes. Well, who do they remind you of, or what do they remind you of? Come on, come Come on, Yes, Malta is a dead certain. Mm, I think Malta's going through. Now, I working really with do. Amber Asucci, you know who she did the choreography for? Lorraine. And Robin Sternberg. She knows how to do it. Okay, Amber Asucci's the life. Word. They're also working the with word. Front Row Pictures, I believe. They did Jamala's Tree. They made Jamala's tree. They're not doing the pre-parties this year, and I think it's a good idea. Malta is often overexposed at the parties, because they, they go to Germany. And instead, you can save that money and like do something amazing on stage. How many acts for you screen this year? Just one. <laughs> Russia. And he's going through. He is our next dead certain qualifier. Absolutely. It just seems obvious. Like it, This was one of the ones that we just put down. Like We know he's going to have fun. epic staging, but even strip away the staging, strip away the song, he is Seria Lazarev. He is so well known throughout the Russian diaspora. Like, that alone could carry him through in a way that Yulia Samoylova, you know, she couldn't be carried through because she didn't have the resonance in her own diaspora. Well, you know what I mean? She needed to be good anyway. She can sing. It's just the song was subpar. Um, except she wasn't singing when we heard the voice. Speaking of diaspora. Albania. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, in my mind, there's no way this is not going through. Yeah. I know a lot of people are uncertain. I know the bookies have it down low. I think it's going through. Yonida Maliki can Malik, sing. She, even. she can sing. She's been consistently on point. On point, vocally. Vocally. Thing. Vocally. She really impressed me at the London Eurovision party. And that was Amsterdam. the first time that I... Can't wait to see her in Madrid. That oh. was the first time that I was like, wow, okay, power. 
It, it was just amazing, and also she has very good ideas for staging. They're going. Oh, did she reveal them? Yes, to you? I'll tell you off camera. I think this is gonna be good. I again, that song is more than a song. It gets under your skin. I think jurors will respect it. I think the people will respect it. I think it's going through. Yeah, and it has it carries a very strong message, you know, with it as well. Bookie's Loving favorite. you is a losing game. Except if it's Duncan Lawrence, it's a winning game. Look, he's still the front runner, and mm -hmm. I understand why. He slayed it in London, he slayed it in Amsterdam, he's consistently been on point, and the Dutch have taste. They will get this right. I, I yeah. They will get this yeah, right. I think this is not even on anyone's mind. I mean, th this is definitely qualifying. There's, 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 no, there's, doubt. No, there's no doubt about it, actually. Yeah. This was an easy pick. Um, are you feeling proud of your list? Oh, honey. North Macedonia. As long as they don't cock up the staging, this is going through. Musically, this is on another level. Vocally, she can sing. She can sing this product. She can sing the song. It's just a matter of the staging. And this is a rare instance. You don't need staging. Yes. Which you is why don't. we both have faith in this particular entry that it is going through. So All we're... black with the spotlight. That's all you need. William and I have locked on eight entries that we are very confident we will see in Saturday's final. However, we don't always agree on all of them and there are two that we will argue for and against. Yes, but first let's talk about the ones we think are definitely out. Yes. I don't see Latvia going through. I, I just don't. It's a tough one, isn't it? Do you see it going through? Uh, no, no, I don't. I, I really don't. And I have seen them live. Mind you, in that cabaret They're great setting, singers. it was quite good. And they were live. They had yeah, live wonderful instruments. Singers. It was quite. But ah, yeah, this is. this is. I didn't even see it winning Supernova. So let alone. Yeah, this is out. And Moldova. As much as I like it, I just think that. I love her voice. Mm. I actually love the melody. I just don't think Europe will like the, the melody. Yeah. It's just a bit old school. They probably heard it before. They have heard it before. Yeah. Many times and many guys. How does the song go? Stay to another day. We'll live forever. Ever, ever, ever. Here to slay. Oh god, I like it now that I'm singing it. But look, so that leaves the, these countries that we have not talked about. Norway, Denmark, Croatia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Ireland. For me, those one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six countries. Guys, you forgot Austria. Are fighting for those two spots. Not for me, for Norway. Norway is definitely, in my opinion, in the final. I think that it's a really strong live act. The three of them, oh my god, there is just a sense of cohesion. Mm. It almost feels like they're delivering a message. Spirit in the yeah. Sky has a spiritual angle, and that spiritual angle won't sit them out in the semis. Live, they're on point. They are. And it's got the Sami, you know, rooted in Sami cult. There's a cultural angle to this. And I think music experts will have to, in their ranking, put them... Somewhere, I really think Norway is going through. I want this to go through. I think it deserves to go through. But something makes me nervous. I don't, I'm just, something makes me nervous. Because sometimes when things are kind of out there, it goes nowhere. Yes, but they... At the same time, this is more mainstream than Portugal, Iceland, Australia. Songs that are strong in the other semi. I don't know. This and is... they've done quite substantial promo on this, you know. Yeah, I don't think promo hit... makes any difference though. Oh, well, yeah, but they've hit the road, so they've tested it out with your... Promo makes a difference if you want the votes of Eurovision fans. Yeah, and... they are the ones who watch the semi-final. Yeah, and you know what? And these days, let's also point out, they're watching it remotely, so when we do upload yeah. these performance videos, it's the fans that are checking it. Absolutely. It's always going to be in, I in the final. This is one of my favorite of the year. I think in the Wee Wee Drew, I gave it an 8.5. Mm. Like, this is one of my favorite of the year, but this video is not about me saying my personal favorites. This video is about what do I think will go through. Yeah. I think it can go through. This Look, when I said borderline, I meant that. I think these countries are all fighting for these spots. Yeah. I, we'll have to choose two, and I'll choose... You've chosen one of your two already. You choose one of yours. Oh. So hard. I can make a case for all of these. Is the problem? Okay, we don't. We, we actually tell me your don't. other. Tell me your other one. Your Azerbaijan. One? Chingiz Mustafaev will be there on Saturday. He's closing his semi. He looks good. He's done this song in 
a variety of versions. You know, there's been a traditional, there's been acoustic, there's been the full-on thing. I think this will really go... I think Azerbaijan, after Izel last year, which was undeserved, does not want to kind of be in that position anymore. And I think what they will now throw in is more money in making this visually stand out. The fact that producers have put it last in the running order also to me signifies that it's going to close out the show. Closing out the show, we will see you on Saturday. And I think Azerbaijan will be in the Eurovision final. Who are your two? I can make a case for Denmark. Denmark, I think, is one that people are sleeping on. I can understand that as well because it's a sleepy song. But I think jurors will really respect this. Is that this. One, one, one of the ones you're picking? I can't decide yet. Croatia. I could see Croatia shocking everyone and going through. I could honestly see Croatia shocking everyone and going through. Because they're going to do some wackadoodle staging. I can see Armenia going through. She's vocally on point. In Amsterdam, did you hear her? Jurors are going to respect that. William, I need two, two, they, I need two countries. Azerbaijan, you're giving me seven. Azerbaijan is very contemporary. I just think it's a bit monotonous. But it's a very good track. But I gotta get through. Oh, I gotta get through. And then Ireland. Look, Ireland last year Oh, surprised. wow, they're in yeah, this too. Yeah, this is the problem. Oof. She's very charismatic and nothing sounds like this. Nothing sounds like this. And I actually think their team is very clever. So I have a strong feeling their staging will be as clever as they are. So this is why, even if it's not the obvious qualifier, I think it has a shot. You can't throw me in the lion's den and make me pick two and you're not picking two. Oh so I need God. your two countries. Because so you know what? Hard. Year in, year out, we do this. You know what? Stella Mwangi was one of my faves from Norway in 2011. And then she didn't go through. And what happened? You didn't get shot. So big deal. Two countries. I need two countries. Two countries. Armenia. France is voting in the semi-final. They have a strong diaspora of Armenians. They will get points from France. I think she can sing. That vocal is on point. Oh my god. And then I have to choose between Norway, Denmark, Croatia, Ireland. I can't do this. I can't, it's like, you know what, I'm taking North Macedonia out of my list. I'm taking North Macedonia out of my list. So we're not locked on that? I'm not locked on that now. I'm sorry. I think that I'm putting in... <sighs> I, I know, I know. I just don't have faith in the staging. Because the, the track record. But you just said there was, there'll be no staging. I said it doesn't need staging. I don't know what they'll actually do. <laughs> I like, oh my god, it's so, okay. So you're taking them out? Who yes. are you replacing them with? I have a feeling Denmark is going through. Denmark is- I have a feeling Denmark is going through. I have okay. A, just a feeling. This is not my personal- William. Denmark Wh is going through. Yeah. I think Norway's going through. Oh, but I, I- okay, so I have two left. Um, you know what? Norway's going through. So we're locked on Norway. Yeah, so Norway's I'm picking good. Macedonia. I think that's going through. So I have one left. One left. Croatia could surprise. Ireland. Listen, I've got potatoes Listen, on the time. Listen, you know what? The luck of the Irish is in the air. I think jurors are going to eat it up. I'm putting Ireland through. Yes, double deuce part is 24. This. Take away two. You got 22. Two. Yeah, this is banging. I think she's really charismatic. Yeah, she is. She's absolutely she, adorable. She is so funny. There's a video of her dancing with a fanny pack. Y'all, What do y'all call them? Bum bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's put the bum pack. bag on her bum. And she's like... <laughs> it's on your Instagram, right? It's, she's so funny. Yes! Yes, Gaga, you look so good. Oh my gosh, in any case. That is what we think. What do you think? Who are your dead certain qualifiers? Who are your borderline, borderline qualifiers? And who's out? Let us know here on Wee Bloods. And do you have friends where you have an agreement, you have a lock, and then on camera they decide actually... Listen, this is a losing game, okay? <laughs> There's so many variables. If we were doing this based just on studio cut, I would say one thing, but when you start considering countries' track Yeah, but we had a two-hour deliberation. You know what? But I, I just can't agree if I don't agree. There's things in the air, Deb. In Denmark, there's something in the air about Denmark. I just feel it. 
We are on multiple. And you know, I've never been the biggest supporter of Danish songs. I just keep it real. I keep media it real. And if it's in the air, I have to say platforms. that. Platforms. Instagram is one of them. Twitter is another. Facebook is one. We're not going to disagree on Pinterest or on Tumblr or yeah, on yeah, Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, let's not even. We're going to update that stuff. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye.